Hello everyone. So today, as you can tell by our clothes we are wearing, we are going ATV riding. No, nothing can come as close as That's right, y'all. Pop a top 912. Gamer TT 911. About to hit the mud piles today. It's been raining the last day or so. So the clay in Georgia should be nice and slippery. We went out last weekend and boy, we came home with about 10 pounds of mud. But it was worth it. We're gonna get out there today. Today we're gonna spend the whole day in the park. We're gonna grab us some breakfast. We're gonna ride. Come back, set up, camp, post up at, at the trailer, cook us some finger steaks. Don't let nobody know that secret. One of the best steaks in America, y'all. If you ain't had it, try it. I have one quick thing to tell you, Father. What? You said not to tell anybody that secret, right? Yeah. You just told the whole world your secret. No, I just told my followers. That's why I whispered. <laughs> I don't get this man's magic. Good thing. Anyway, we're going to post up, cook us some steaks on the grill, and then we'll... Chill for a little while, ride in the afternoon, and after that, we'll pack up and head back home. So, right now, we headed to the Walmart. Somebody tell me why people always say the Walmart, but anyway, we're going to the Walmart to get us some more rations. And we headed up to Iron Mountain ATV Park in Dahlonega, Georgia. If you don't know about it, look it up, people. It's killer. Penny Trails, you can ride all day. Tell them about your last time up there, Shorty. Well, I go to the I enjoy going for a little bit, not that much. I did find a new play toy though. Play mud. It's perfect for molding things. Anyway, we'll check y'all out in a little bit. Just stay along for our trip today. It's just a random day in the life of the two amigos now. Hey. Let me go no more. What? Isn't this the place where I want to get like those white castle fire thingies? You sure it's not? Ain't this that's not that's not the we were just worried it was not the drive through by though. Again, fellow people of the internet, I pissed up number one was Walmart to pick up some stuff. You'll see why in a little bit. <laughs> pissed up number two, breakfast. Where are we, Daddy? Culver's. It's a burger place, y'all. But we're not here for burgers. What? Huh? <laughs> they have. A walla sandwich. Don't say sandwich, say sandwich. So, about to try this Culver's walla sandwich. It's supposed to be off the chain. I'm going to let you know. Because I love me some walla. I love it. Yummy. And I'm going to get me a regular burger. Bye-bye. All right, y'all. Little bit's got her a... Uh, Chicken sandwich and some broccoli, and I got dum 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 the walleye two piece with some broccoli and a side salad. We about to taste test this fish. Hey, get your hands out my fish. I want to break up a piece. <laughs> we finna taste test this fish, and I'll let you know what it tastes like. Go ahead and get a piece. Let the world know. I got bread. <laughs> Just pick up the fish and bite it. There you go. Yeah. All right. I'm for the bread. I'm gonna taste the bread in the face. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. World famous Culver Wallace sandwich. Well, I actually just got the meat. The bread it looks like a beer batter. Like it's more of a um. Long John Silver's versus a Captain Geese. But I digress. Mm. 
Es lo bueno. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Max We Hunt. All right, y'all. So we're taking a little detour for a second. We're being good Samaritans. You can't see it here, but we are towing a golf cart that got stuck on the side of a mountain. But they were stuck trying to push it up the hill, so we stopped, tied them off to the trailer. Good human helping them out. And helping them out. I'll take a picture of it for you if I get a chance to. Hey, Shorty, hang out in the back because we finna turn. You can get a picture of it when we turn the corner. You can see it right in my window. Yeah, that's so short. Mm. Just did our good Samaritan deed for the day, so you know. Anytime you're in a position to help somebody, you should always help them because you never know when you will be on the opposite end of that spectrum and you need somebody else's help. You see, we're rolling through what I like to call God's country. Rolling through the hills, we got cattle farm, chicken farm. And we are just basically rising up the mountain. All right, y'all. There you got it. Iron Mountain. Lay the land. It's still working on the lodge up here. Look at Rip. Check them. Mask on. Mask up. Shorty. What my name is? What my name is? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I will return. Peace. Something about you feels so different. Makes me wanna risk it. Every time I look at you, you pull me back into your rivers with my name. We have made it inside of the park now. But you see, it's not as full as some days, but call it halfway between what we normally see when we come out here. Take our ride, y'all. Teeny got the 150 Arctic Cat, and then Papa Top got the Tracker 300. They both two wheel, two by four. No four wheel drive here. We don't get in too much trouble. Say what's up to the people. <laughs> she doing her job now, getting the trailer ready. You can see, we got a 10 foot trailer. Could have used a 12 foot, but 10 foot is what we got. So I had to set up this little arrangement here. Got the ramps. 
and then the uh, jack stands and that's how I transport hers up and down the road and everything works perfectly when we do it that way but that's our ride y'all so we're gonna get these things off and get everything situated and get ready to hit the trails be back Tell the people what you're doing, Charlie. Um, going to the ATV. You're glad I set this up so you can load your own ATV, right? Kind of. So y'all can see, I got this worm gear winch. And I use that. And that way she can winch her four wheeler up and down off the trailer while I get other stuff together. So you see, we got a nice little system going on. It works for us. Nope, keep going. So let's get on two wheels. Anyway, like I said, we got a nice little setup going on. And that way she can be doing one thing and I can be doing the other. And everybody's happy. Keep going till the back wheels get down.
All right, y'all. Reinforcements have showed up. Got my partner in crime. AKA Big Country, and man, man. Pulling up on the scene, having some beef jerky. Somebody double fisting the beef jerky. We're gonna go out there and cut up a rug, cut it up. We're gonna move the four wheel out of the way so he can park.
didn't have it on. It was up.
All right, what's going on now? <laughs> You broke the shifter? You broke the shifter off. Well, y'all, this has been a day for the ages. Thanks to the little Arctic cat, the smallest four wheeler in the group. She done pulled everybody out the water. Out the mud. There you go. That one laid down. See, we still got the toe chain on it. Mine broke down. Right there. She done pulled me home, too. <laughs> Y'all, we're having a nice little cookout. Boy cooking right here, y'all. Boy cooking. a good day on the... Four wheelers. Is that potatoes? Yep. Is that what I had it? Got that asparagus going on now. Got them hanger steaks on the grill. That's how we doing it out here in the ATV park, y'all. We just getting it in. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Got this pork loin, Smithfield. Nice and juicy. We got these hanger steaks over here, y'all. If you ain't never tried a hanger steak, you need to get you some and try it. That boy is sure enough good. All right, y'all, so we three four wheelers down tonight, but we finna end the day on a good note. <laughs> so we got us some um, grilled tortillas, some potatoes, cauliflower mash, asparagus, grilled onions. And we got this meat over here on the grill. Everybody happy? We about to be full and happy.